developing even bigger powers than ever before. We are really upgrading divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. All this story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. Now, remember my other video where I shout out Robin Bullock, right? Now I want to show y'all something. <clears throat> All right, let me get to it. Would receive his mark to buy and sell. You say, oh, that could never happen, having to have a mark to buy and sell. Well, people, the people stood and locked their doors because they wouldn't put a face covering on because without it, you couldn't buy or sell. Well, it's like someone told me a while back. There's only one difference, one letter different in mask and mark. <laughs> Both of them did the same thing. Uh huh. Pay We've attention. We've got to wake up right now. Now, just in case you think I'm, I'm making this up, I want you to watch this video and listen. This is the prophet they call him, the false prophet of Klaus Schwab, that pay is attention. talking. And I want you to really pay attention to this now. Pay attention. I, I'll be right back as soon as you watch it. Now, really uh -huh. watch close. Listen. The only thing God managed to create are organic uh, beings. All these trees and giraffes and humans, they are just organic. But we are now trying to create inorganic entities, inorganic life forms, cyborgs, artificial intelligence, and so forth. If we succeed, and there is a very good chance we will, then very soon we will be beyond the God of the Bible. Did you notice that he said this? Uh, did we just show the one where he said the only thing God managed to create? Is that the one we showed? Somebody give me the thumbs up or not. Okay. I want you to notice what he said. And I, I had it transcribed Listen. word for word. Know the wiles so of the devil it. And, it, and, and know the enemy. The word, brothers and sisters. Listen. He said the only thing. Now listen what this man said. The only thing God managed to create are organic beings. All these trees and giraffes and humans. They are just organic. He said, but we are now trying to create inorganic entities, inorganic life forms, cyborgs, artificial intelligence, and so forth. If we succeed, and there is a very good chance we will, then very soon we will be beyond the God of the Bible. Now, that's what this man said. Now, oh, oh, wait just a minute. Now, we need to analyze something on the 11th hour. I know that's kind of disturbing, isn't it? Watch this. Let's just say, and, and if I call somebody's name, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just pulling names out right here for a, a hypothetical thing. Let's just say somebody had a big corporation. Let's say I had a big corporation somewhere, and I had two employees I was looking at. And I said, you know, I'll tell you, the only thing Ted and Fred managed to create was a system by... Uh, by which a system of promotion within the company we, where we could promote employees and give them incentives. That's the only thing Ted and Fred really managed to create in this company. And what does that say to you? 
<laughs> that the would light say shine, baby. That I know Ted and Fred, and I know what their accomplishments were. Oh. Hmm. Listen to what this man said. Listen carefully. The only thing God managed to create are organic beings. Whoa, all these trees, giraffes, and humans, they're just organic. That sounds to me like somebody who knows him. Notice he didn't say he didn't exist. He said the only thing he managed to create was mm -hmm. organic beings. All these trees, giraffes, and humans. That's a spirit talking. Do you not see? That's a spirit talking. This spirit has taken this man. Everybody see that, right? They ha he has to know him. He said he the only thing God managed to create. <laughs> he knows him. So what spirit could possibly have known God like that? Hmm. He said the only thing. Think about that. Now he he contradicts himself. In the video before, I showed Robin Bullock, didn't he? He said, oh, this is, Jesus died and rose and come from God. That's fake news. But in the, and then, the video, now that, that was a video prior before, okay? Now, I'm trying to get you hip to how the devil works. And demonic entities, demon spirits, okay? It's very, they're very sneaky. You gotta know these things, brothers and sisters. You gotta know these things. Now, before all these videos came to me, I found this video on Alpha Omega Productions, which I called out. Amen, hallelujah, the glory of God's on me. Yes. I'm gonna show y'all something. It's a two part. Okay. Just tonight. My question indeed is a bit more personal. Just as God in the Bible designs and creates animals and plants and humans according to his wishes, mm -hmm. now we are learning how to design and create life. Yuval Harari thinks big for a living. Not so long ago, he was an obscure history professor, but his 2014 book, Sapiens, changed all that. He explored the past, cramming 150,000 years of human history into 400 pages. Authority will shift. Transforming himself into a literary phenomenon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome once again, Yuval Noah Harari. Name dropped by the likes of Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Barack Obama. The other book that I really enjoyed, a book by an Israeli author, Yuval Harari. His follow-up book, Homo Deus, tackled the future. Ele now, you heard those names, right? Know how the devil coexists with people that are not of God. That's how you determine true discernment. Excuse me. True discernment true men and women of God and then true ungodly men and women against God. Now, use your own discernment. I'm telling you. Put two and two together. Connect the dots. Now, you gotta see it for what it's worth and pray about it. Pray against it. Now, these people even openly admits if we don't submit to their agenda, <coughs> they're going to exterminate us. Bring it. We got the authority of God. We got the power of the Holy Spirit. We do have free will. And they're not going to take our sovereignty like they think they are because we're going to come back with Jesus and ring for a thousand years because we are true saints, true men and women of God, true brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, 
Jesus Christ came in the flesh. He died, he rose, he ascended. He's alive. Man, you gotta do research, y'all. You gotta follow these. You gotta follow these sites. Quit watching all that hogwash crap on YouTube and Netflix and, and your cable television. Like, we're not gonna be here much longer to guide y'all. You know, we ain't gonna be here much longer. You know, I remember last year in November, I said, man, we got major events coming in September. I mean, yeah, it's my birthday. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you, everybody who got me, you know, birthday cards, you know. God bless y'all for, for blessing me. But, you know, all day today, I'm gonna be on and off here. You know, I'm gonna upload these. And I hope y'all get it. I hope y'all connect these dots. Now, other ones that believe Obama's Antichrist, Trump's Antichrist, yeah, they're good candidates. But think about that, what he said. One minute he's like, oh, that Jesus fake news. And then many, many interviews later, Robin Bullock, Bullock found it. Played it. Now, I don't watch all. I, I'm only led by the Spirit to watch certain videos and, and certain people and certain uh, channels. I just don't get on here like, oh, man, a channel junkie on everything of, that, that, that could be from God. No. Everything that I called out on the previous video, I'm led by the Spirit. Now, there's others that I watch here and there. Maybe I'll, I'll shoot another video of other <coughs> other um, channels I watch. But those channels are key channels. But that, that's your Prophecy Club. Go to Rumble and, and watch Prophecy Club. That's where you're going to find your news. That's what they're going to... And Dana Coverstone, it, the articles he reads before he goes on, like, y'all got to do this, man. Y'all got to get hip and, and know the wiles of the devil and know how they're coming so you you can prepare and get ready and you won't be caught by surprise. I can't believe this happened. And, oh, my goodness, he was right. You know, and God bless y'all, man. But I say it out of love. Don't, don't be foolish. Don't be foolish, man. Y'all go to God. All right. I know sometimes I'm aggressive. Look at this world out here. Look how aggressive the enemy is. So we got to be aggressive in kindness and love and direction, correction, instruction. Y'all want to make it to heaven or you want to go to hell? Ask yourself that question. What you want to do? Pray about it. Where you want to go? You gonna ride with that devil? Or you gonna ride with the saints? I'm going back to heaven, like when I was three and I died and came back. I know it exists. Now, I will say this: if, if that didn't happen to me when I was a kid, you know, I, if I wasn't a man of God, I'm the type that man seems believe. I, I need proof. Oh, I got all the proof. <laughs> believe that. I mean, I. Now I'm not disobedient. Now I'm not a heathen. Y'all stop being heathens. Y'all stop being disobedient. Y'all follow Christ. You know? Y'all follow Jesus, man. Don't follow me. Don't follow a pastor. I'm not going to save you. Pastor ain't going to save you. Your boyfriend, girlfriend, your husband, wife, they ain't going to save you. Jesus going to save you. You know, your president ain't going to save you. Trump ain't going to save you. Obama ain't going to save you. Biden ain't going to save you. Klaus, what, Klaus Schwab ain't, sure ain't going to save you. If anything, they want to cut throat you and get you out the way. Saints, it's time to stand up and be a voice. It's time to get out there in the harvest field. It's time to do what God uh, made you 
to be to become and to be and what he made you to be. It's time to stand up and be a voice. It's time to stand up and, and do God's work now. Don't don't conform to this world. You conform to the Lord, your Savior, your sovereign one. Lord of Lord, King of Kings, baby. It's time. It's time to stand up. It's time to pray. It's time to... Yeah. It's time to get in this. time to get Jesus in red. It's time to get in that. It's time to follow these Ten Commandments. It's time to know the enemy and know that these little little G gods are about to invade the spirit realm more heavily than before than now it's time it's time to stand up put the whole body of the armor on man put the whole armor of God on you like Ephesians chapter 6 roll with God not the devil amen amen can I get an amen I don't hear you can I get an amen? Where's the voices at? Where's the true brothers and sisters at? Stand up. Pray about it. Pray a delay. Pray God comes quickly and swiftly now. Seek your salvation. Confess with your mouth and tongue that Jesus is alive. Jesus died on the cross for you and I. Right with God. Amen. Hallelujah. God help us. I love all y'all. Something to think about. Something to research. Know the enemies. Know the wiles of the devil. Know how they move. Know how they act. And then pray against it. We battle principalities powers of darkness most people are possessed and don't even know it most people are latched on and don't even know it need a hug need us lay hands on you and pray it away go to God dear Jesus thank you for these videos please Lord don't let the enemy take them down a red flag us like other brothers and sisters that they have done in Jesus' almighty name, forgive us of our sins, past and present. No more future sins. You repent and resist in the Holy Spirit, in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord. Yeshua HaMashiach, Kosele, Dishtokoto, Kadesimono. Yes, Almighty God, come. Come for your children. We're ready. Yes, Almighty Lord, the spirit of fear is not in us, and we will prosper with the body of Christ. We have victory and it's not unoffered prayer it's unanswered prayer because they don't pray now it's time to pray it's time to get right with god stay right with god go to god amen amen brothers and sisters amen go to god love y'all